I bet Zach's got it. Shift is on for Grandal, who hit the bouncing ball to the right side. They're coming home with it. The throw is away from the catcher, Maldonado. Tom Hallion got taken out by Robert. A blade the ball, goes into the third. Ball, the ball hit the runner. Grandal was inside the line. It hit his helmet, right? He was inside the line, and the ball hit, 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 hit him when Guriel threw it home. I don't think you can do that. Oh, it's going to be a dead ball potentially here. I don't think you can do that. Dead ball potentially here. First off, is Hallion okay after Luis Robert came charging in at home plate? What is going on? <laughs> this is crazy. Was it just me or the first baseman looked like the, the glove in the left center field stands at, at uh, whatever the Giant Stadium's called now, too? Like the biggest glove I've ever seen. It was in the grass. Yeah. Saying it doesn't matter where he runs. Here, here's the question, though. Isn't it, is it the, the 45 foot box, right? I, I think the rule, and I could be wrong here, but I think the rule is you establish the line until the 45 foot box, and then you have to be on inside the two white lines. The other thing to establish here that's very important to this. I'm sure that's part of the explanation for Dusty Baker. So Grandal's already inside the line. That was he didn't go out of his way. I'm not going to say he to, did that on purpose, right, right, right. but he did that on purpose. He, he did not do it on purpose. Yeah, I think kinda, that might listen, be the veteran play. He stuck play. his shoulder yeah. right into that ball. And then on this, Robert takes Hallion out from his legs. I mean, wow! And then Tom <laughs> Hallion gets. <laughs> oh boy.